Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to teach you something about the quality program. Uh, a couple little tricks. Uh, this is a, a one. I've set up a one by three plate. So if I wanted to, uh, or I could set it up as a two by four plate. Now the problem is, is that let me put some text in there. I'll just make it new. Alt up arrow to get to maybe a half inch letter and space bar one two three four five enter and then I'm gonna hit escape because I don't want a second line now I want to bevel this part the problem is is with this program I cannot bevel just one part uh, unfortunately I can't do a graphic because then it blows up to a full screen and I lose uh, what I've done here but safe to say there's uh, one two three four half inch letters in the middle of this two by four what I can do is I could have started with all zero margins and I can press also alt Z which is right down here to zero all my margins uh, now that may screw up your layout but just to prove a point now I'm gonna hit the letter control P to change it to manual layout now I'm going to hit the letter T for text and the enter is the is the same as add that's the most the safest key so enter and I'm adding now I want my baseline to be at 2 but I could put in 22 and it just maxes out at 2 and then I'm going to change my font number 5 go down to the end and I know I want to load accurate shapes 2 which is this one right here and I'm going to hit the space bar because that's my font of choice and I want to put a two inch box so number so number four I'm gonna make the height equal to two and if you look at the legend that was given to you in your font legend book the number one is a box so I'm gonna use number one and hit enter now if I hit escape and then E for edit I can see here's my one two three four and then here is the the box with accurate shapes and you can see it's compressed to 16 percent and if I go up to this one I may have uh, lost the fact that it was centered but I can I can see well it is centered I can hit the F3 key to center it vertically that's a little cheat sheet on your keyboard but I can see that it already was uh, stated inch and a quarter now another way of doing this is I could go down to this line I'm gonna just delete it and hit the letter Y for yes now I've got just my one two three four in the middle of my I can go to my start menu I have to put in the number of plates which would be two and then I have to, to turn on my matrix is six so let's say I'm doing two plates across I'll tell it two across and enter and maybe I want to do two down but I'd have to put the number of plates up there as a bigger number now these numbers here are at zero this is a spacing between tags so if it's zero it will cut at zero if you're using a saw or something like that you may want tick marks that have an eighth of an inch spacing now right now the tick marks are are off so in order to turn it on I usually use the numeric keypad and now the tick marks are on with no tool stop tick marks are on with a tool stop full with no tool stop so that means after it engraves that one two three four in the two plates it will immediately go back and start putting that bevel in if you hit the plus key one more time it will come to a stop and allow you to change your tool so that you can uh, put in a different tool for doing the bevel and then of course it toggles back to off so uh, in your case you may want it with a tool stop that's the normal and uh, not the best key to get out of this menu also this is the plate size that you need what material size you need you have to hit escape to get out of this menu now another very cool feature is making a new home or using the number five key which I call the tick key moves you away from home a half an inch and of course just hit s5 to engrave it I hope this helps